guys, Sky Process Shoes 18 with another FIFA 13 Aston Villa career mode. And we kick off the episode with a match Premier against League Fulham. And if you remember Tyler earlier in the season, we did play <coughs> did play Fulham. Sorry, I just dropped something there. And it was a really hard match, actually. Um, I think we just beat them. But anyway, we jumped straight into the match. And as you can see, Fulham get a chance straight off the bat there. A little chip over the top. And unlucky not to score, but a good save by Given, and it goes out for a corner. And from that resulting co corner, Fulham get a chance to score. Uh, Duff with the crossing and a lovely volley there, getting past our Given. Pretty awful defending. No I don't know how he got to the ball there with instead of right. And we are already one nil down in the fifth minute. Exactly not great, especially at home. But anyway, we get a chance straight away almost. Uh, ben unleashing Hooper and the lovely finish in his top right corner, smashing it past Keeper. I think that might be his eighth or ninth goal of the season. He's doing very, very well in the young the <coughs> league at the moment. Nothing to complain about. <laughs> But um, yeah, not bad at all. Straight back into the match. It's always nice to score just after they score because then it gets confidence up. But um, anyway, Hooper again has another chance. It's a um, keeper there, go and pushes it out wide, and we get a free kick there in down the hill but and smash off the pitch there. But um, and Zobby with a free kick and it hits the post and it goes out for a goal kick. Um. Really unlucky not to score. Actually, good, good free kick there. You see replay, hits the post. I thought um, it was a corner oh, at first, but he hit the post. Um, unlucky Lily, Lily. And again, Fulham uh, with a break, a three-on-two situation. Luckily, I don't um, get back. But Vlad dives, and Fry dodges it and taps it into the net. And we are two-one down against Fulham. You see Vlad, and he just. Do, does a dummy the there and he goes past today. him the and they are 2-1 up in the 31st minute pass. and um, <coughs> pretty poor defending if I may say so myself but um, you can see a penalty decision given again so this could be 3-1 given goes but he d he doesn't move and it is um, Petric who scores there 3-1 down at home against Fulham never never team. good I agree with the penalty decision though, so nothing to complain about. Right. Anyway, that's how the first half ended. 3 1 to Fulham. Very, very, very bad. <laughs> but um, as you can see, I've got a new mic. Well, that's for Christmas. Thanks, my friends. <laughs> but um, it's really good actually. I think it's a Turtle Beach PX 21, so good quality. Just here. But anyway, you see Fulham there get a chance with Ruiz, and uh, Given does well to save it there. But we have a chance our own. In the late on the game, Bent has a quite an easy volley into the net. Uh, his 13th, I think, of the season, 13th or 14th. Very good form at the moment. Nice volley there, and the comeback could be on, but shamefully, we didn't get any more chances, and that's how the match ended. 3-2 to Fulham at home. Points, very, very vital points dropped there, where we should have won. But anyway, on to our next match against Manchester United at Old Trafford. As you can remember, early in the season, we did beat them 1-0. Uh, with a bent goal in the second half, um, but um, yeah, I don't Martin think we'll see a repeat of that this time. Because <laughs> um, now, I'm well, not being silly, happen. but we, it was a it was a fluke. <laughs> but anyway, almost straight away in the 70th minute, Van Persie with a little one-two play there and taps it into the back of the net, and lucky not um, lucky not to save it given. And um, <coughs> sorry, my mum just handed me a little teddy bear. But um, anyway, uh, Valencia there hits the crossbar. Should have really finished finished it, but um, hits the crossbar and hits given, and it gets out. And uh, another chance there goes narrowly wide, and that's how the first half ended. One nil to um, Team Van Persie <laughs> to Manchester United. Uh, pretty poor display. No chances on our side, to be honest. <coughs> But um, Bent this time gets away with a chance and hits the crossbar there, get pulling away from the Manu defence, unlucky not to score, uh, showing his form obviously. And Bannon this time on the outside of the box goes narrowly wide. Bannon is turning to a great player for me, really rocking that attacking mid there. But Manu, who really should have scored there, I'm not sure who that was, who um, had a shot. 
should have scored, but um, that's sadly how the match ended. 1 0 to Man U. <coughs> Pretty poor form at the moment. We are either winning or drawing or losing. Oh, no, not winning, sorry. We're either drawing or losing, and more currently at the moment, losing, which is never a good thing to do. So hopefully we can pick up the form against Sunderland, who um, are below us quite far below. I think they might even be in the relegation spots. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is to kick off here. Hoping to end our run of poor form and straight away uh, Benteke here with a chance on the half volley and um, I think Mignolet as well to save it there. Sunderland this time on the break weaving through my defence. Uh, we tried to get clear, Daniel Hurinhero hits one of the Sunderland players and somehow Fletcher gets a shot in at the near post. I was infuriated in how this went through given really should have done better to save it here. If you look closely it just hits him but I'm not sure if that was meant to go in or the computer kind of glitched and let it in <laughs> but anyway off you can do nothing now it's gone but almost straight away and Zobia capitalized oh no Bent sorry Bent capitalizes on some poor defending tackles a Sunderland player and taps it into the net uh, I think that's 14th or 15th goal of the season sorry I can't remember exact numbers but um <laughs> my brain is not as big as it used to be even if it's, it was bigger when I was a baby <laughs> but anyway that's how the first half ended one all Fletcher and Bent with a um, goals for each side. Um, not not much really happening besides the two goals in that half. But anyway, this time Dyer with a break down the wing, a little cross into the box, and Ben Teke skies it over with a header. Even though he has power header, I think that was overpowered there. But I'll just show you this here. This was a strange, strange event here. I don't know how this was foul. Agon before going through on goal, but a sudden fair just body checked, so I'm not sure how that was a foul. But um, <coughs> anyway, Sunderland have a chance to go 2 1 up here, hitting the crossbar, really unlucky not to score anything, given Jamily gets it clear. Bent this time with a header going near post, Mignolet did well to save it. Um, just finding it really hard to score a few goals in a match at the moment, it's getting quite annoying actually. <laughs> but anyway, Sunderland again, another good save by Gordon there to deny Sunderland the goal. And from a corner after the, the resulting corner, <coughs> a very good save by given there from I'm not sure, Carlos Cuellar, an ex Villa player, coincidentally. But anyway, unluckily, Lily that's how the match ended. Aston Villa won, Sunderland well, won. Really it. not great uh, form, at least it's a point. But anyway, that is the end of the episode, guys. Thanks for watching. This has been your guy, Process Cheese 18. Please like, favourite, and subscribe. Until next time.